Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this plugin called Putt-Putt. If you don't know what Putt-Putt is, it's basically mini golf. So you can actually set mini golf courses all around your server for your players to easily just play the game and have a little fun on your server. So just download this plugin, drop in your plugins folder, and then restart your server. There's not much to it. You can just create a course and then you create a sign. And basically the golf ball is an egg and you can hit it with a stick and the hunger bar becomes a power meter so you can tell how hard you can hit the ball. So it works perfectly you can set it around your hub you can make a world for it just like a bunch of golf courses that your players can play on it's really really awesome it's a very lightweight small plugin so let's go ahead and check this out so right here this is my basic I just did this as a test to see if this plugin actually worked or not but this is the basic course that I have set up your starting point is any block but under that there's a sign pretty much you can put any block above that sign and the block above the sign is the starting point and then the ending point, pretty much the hole that you have to get it in, is the bedrock. So as long as you have those two set up, you can easily create a chorus to your likings. Like this one is a little bit more complicated than the last one. And uh, yeah, so the creativity can be endless and just you can have your courses look awesome. So let's go ahead and test this out now and play the game. So like I said, you have to right click the starting block and the starting block is any block. It doesn't have to be gold, just any block that's above that sign. I have a sign under there. So let's go ahead and right click this. Bam, now we have the egg, which is the starting golf ball. And as you guys can see, the hunger bar is actually moving up and down. So you can take a swing at whatever power you, that you want. And the blaze rod is actually a heavy hitter, which I'll show you guys now. As you guys can see, that went pretty far. It might have been, okay, it stayed in the game, which is awesome. So now we're going to lightly hit it. Okay, that was a little bit more lightly than I had wanted to. But let's go ahead and try again. Let's get the power right there. Oh, just too far. And now let me show you guys what happens when you actually hit the ball out of the set distance that we put on the sign. So when that happens, it just ends the game. So I'm going to test it out once my hunger bar goes all the way full. Just like that. And eventually the ball went out of range, game over. So that is a cool feature. It keeps the game organized. So now I'm going to show you guys how to create your own golf course. So like I said, you guys can create any type of golf course to any type of size or just just make it creative. It's really cool. You can just set up the way you want to. So what I'm going to do, you can even have buildings like a windmill or something. That would be pretty cool. But anyways, this is the starting point for me. So what is required is any block as your starting point. So like that. So to create the game, what is required is a starting block, a sign, and an ending block. Now the ending block is just bedrock. So you can put that at the end. I already did that. Basically how my course right now is going to work is they're going to travel all the way down here and then launch the ball or the egg and hit it right here. So it's a little bit more complex. But anyways, like I said, you're going to need a starting block and you can use any block like I said earlier and then you're going to need a sign. So I'm going to get a sign out and you have to place that sign under your starting block. So on the first line, just type bracket golf and then close bracket. On the second line, you can go ahead and type a course name. So I'm going to name this course two and on this it's par and this doesn't really seem to matter to me so I just put one and on the last line it's the maximum distance so you might have to calculate or just randomly guess how far in blocks your golf course is from the starting point so mine I'd say about 50 blocks I'm gonna go with that and hit done so there we go now it'd be smart to cover this up so that's what I'm gonna do right here and there we go so like let's say this is in another world in the center you guys can create a sign that says right click the block to start a course and you guys can even put like the numbers in the sky number two or whatever that'd be pretty cool we have everything set up with the starting point the sign and then the bedrock ending point so let's go ahead and start this one up now usually your players will have to be in survival mode so I just switch so that the power bar can show and now let's go ahead and test this out I'm gonna launch this one pretty far I hope Okay, yeah, that did go far, just like how I wanted to. So that was my first turn. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the regular stick. Okay, that's what I wanted. So now this one's going to be a little bit tricky. All right, so let's do this thing with the blaze rod. Let's get a little bit more power in the hunger bar. And, uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay I don't want to mess this up. I'm on video. I can't mess this up. No! <laughs> if that happens, it shouldn't be a big deal but it might be kind of hard to get that back up. Okay, it wasn't as hard as I thought. And Oh, come on, that pretty much landed there. And now with the power bar all the way empty, we can just take just take a simple swing. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Okay, there we go. So we won it in six hits, and the par was one. Okay, now I understand what the par actually is. I guess the par is how many hits it should take to complete the course. I don't know. I'm not an expert in golf, but I just thought this was a really cool mini game to set up on your server. You guys can create a new world for it. You can set it up in the hub. As you guys can tell, it works really easily and it's very simple. So hopefully you guys check out this plugin and download it on your server. And if you enjoyed today's tutorial, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more. I didn't mean to do that. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.